All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the range at 944 up near Harrisburg, PA. And uh, one of the things that I'm doing is uh, checking some ammo. Uh, when we did the three gun last time over there at uh, the Griffin Group, I noticed that I was having some either malfunctions and wasn't going off, wasn't shooting, uh, casings or uh, full rounds were getting stuck. And I was having problems doing this. Anyway, stuff wasn't going off like you'd been used to. So, uh, found out the reason why and I wanted to share this with you now a couple of you guys that do reloading um, you will understand what I'm talking about uh, but it's if you're getting into reloading then you'll notice there's something new now by the way I'm testing out this guy right here this is a Siley bear enclosed red dot okay um, not bad uh, if you're in a, into an entry level uh, red dot that is fully enclosed then this is not a bad way to go 200 bucks um, Made in China, but you know what? If you're new to shooting, you're going to have to probably go that route uh, uh, shortly. So let me tell you what I was running into because there's a couple different things. I'm used to shooting a 2011, the Atlas Titan. And in the last year or so, I decided to go ahead and change up or down or up, I don't know how you would do it, to this guy right here. Now this is a, um, this is the SIG Legion X5 with a bunch of army craft stuff on it. The trigger, I got to install the new trigger in the uh, lower, uh, what do you call that thing, the trigger assembly. But we got a uh, muzzle brake on here, spring kit, and the barrel, all right, which leads to a very smooth shooter. The difference between the springs in this guy versus this is a, not a, this is an X5, but it's not a Legion. The springs are amazing. And the funny thing is, the way I build these things, or I reload, and my uh, amount of powder drop that I use, they'll run in both guns. This is a little bit harsher shooting versus this, this one is really soft, okay, because of that muzzle break. Um, yeah, so anyway, the problem I was running into, specific to this gun, the Legion X5, and I'll go ahead and put a mount this. This is how I, uh, I zero an optic. I put it in this thing right here. That way I'm, shake, I'm not shaking. I have a shaking problem, man. It's funny as hell. So what I was doing, I found out, through uh, pulling out some factory ammo, the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics, okay? Um, my first intuition was that the, 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 the pistol was not going fully into battery, which means that you need to check your overall length. And sure enough, when I pulled up one of my reloads, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, 1.169 is the same spec for 9mm round nose, and I'm at 1.189, which means this guy was not going fully into battery, which also prevented it from going bang. Not only that, but <laughs> with the 2011, you could probably, I use, I can use rifle primers and uh, small rifle primers, but uh, you can't with the striker fire. You may with yours, I don't know, but this has got a really light, I don't know, whatever. So what I was ending up with was light primer strikes like that and a dead gun. So boom, 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 boom. And I'll show you some video at the end of this thing when we were talking about that. Okay, so thanks to the guys over at Callaway Ballistic because I still have some of their factory ammo. I was able to just a really quick look at it. And then yesterday I came out here and I was wondering the same freaking problem uh, because this gun loves a hollow point. It does not like a round nose. And I'm going to give you a prime example here in a few seconds. We're going to do this. When I am zeroing a gun, because I want to double check this thing, um, luckily the boys over there at uh, Bass Pro Shops carry, I shoot extreme 124 grain hollow points. And they, I went ahead and bought 500 more. So I was able, I did have some, like this one, that had the pistol, small pistol primers, versus, and you'll see the difference there, <laughs> and one's brass color the other one is a silver color so anyway let's do this real quickly what I do make sure you're always pointing the gun down range I will drop that in there okay and we'll lock this in I'll, I'm gonna shoot uh, five rounds let's do five rounds right let me slide this thing over here a little bit uh, we'll do five rounds and I use the Caldwell precision turret uh, you can buy these things on Amazon for uh, I, I don't know how many of these things I've actually sold for these guys but in any case let's go and see how my reloads actually group uh the reason being is uh, freaking now they got it in their mind not only are we going to shoot out to six seven hundred yards but we're going to shoot pistol targets out to you know 50 70 100 yards 
These uh, have always done me, the hollow points have always done me well. Uh, if you, you can't reload, try the Callaway uh, 9 millimeter uh, hollow point, 124 grain, worked the best. All right, so let's do this. So what I do, I use my turret, precision turret, and I just put the dot on there. And the reason I do this, guys, is I'm a horrible pistol shot, but if you put it right in the middle, and you shoot like that. Okay, that didn't, that did not look good. Didn't even hit in the circle. But let's see how good it groups. And we'll do some Callaway here in a few seconds. Oh, that's not as good as it was yesterday for sure. Let's just do three of these. We'll go down there and do a picture, and we'll cover those up, and then we'll do the Callaway ballistics, see how they group. Good Lord. All right, one more, one more, one more, because this might. Yeah, we'll do five. Five round shot group. Well, I'm just in. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think something was wrong with that one pistol. That one. And we'll go down there and I'll take a look at it. We'll bring the camera down. And this is the best way for me to actually zero a gun because, and you want to, I'd use a 25 yard zero, okay? Okay, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and lock this back, make it safe. And then uh, let's go down there and take a look at it. All right, so take, let's take a look at this. Uh, probably about a two and a half inch group, 25 yards. I'm happy with that. Usually the targets we're trying to hit are as big as that or as big as this at 50 yards. You're gonna have that all day long. <laughs> so, shooting open division, I can actually shoot off of a tripod if I want. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, again, we'll do uh, some more reviews on that Cy Lee. We'll get to that thing in about two weeks. I'm gonna be sitting at the house next week. Uh, the week after that uh, weekend, we're gonna be shooting Tar Heel Challenge, three day event. Blake Wilkes is gonna be there with me. And then uh, uh, Hal at Callaway Bliss is going to hook me up, hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, I haven't done a whole lot of videos, so I don't really deserve it. But we're having fun. This is what it's all about right here. So with that, I always end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. KB32, I'm out of here. <clears throat> Y'all be good.